All right, this video is intended for the power users, so step away from your mouse. I am currently on the Move tool, and if I want to jump to the Marquee tool, I can hit the letter M for Marquee. If I want to go to Lasso, L, just by itself on your keyboard, goes to the Lasso tool. In fact, every tool in Photoshop, or virtually every tool, has a keyboard shortcut that will show up in parentheses next to the tool. So this is the quick selection tool. The letter W for wand will jump there. A few of my favorites, and the way I remember it, is V for move. <laughs> Since 1992, that is something I still say in my head. Regardless of what tool you're on, my favorite way to zoom is with Command Spacebar. I'm still on the Move tool, but Command Spacebar on the Mac or Control Spacebar on Windows will let me click and drag to do a scrubby zoom and zoom in or out on this happy pair's eye. Now the way I'm zooming is with an accelerated video card, so it's doing something called a scrubby zoom. If I hit Z for my zoom tool, I can actually disable the scrubby zoom and show you how it would behave if you don't have an accelerated video card or in earlier versions of Photoshop. So back to the Move tool, V for Move, Control Spacebar or Command Spacebar, and click and drag to Marquee or Surround the Eye where I'd like to zoom. Now this next feature is a little bit harder to show. It involves some hand-eye coordination and not letting go. So if I hit H, for the hand tool, with the hand tool active, I can hold down the letter H on my keyboard. While holding down the letter H, after going to the hand tool, I can click and it quickly pans out. This is called bird's eye view. I can move over to the left eye, let go of only my mouse, not the letter H. Click and hold again, move over the nose, let go. Click and hold move over the mouth, let go. I love this little bird's eye view to jump in and out quickly to individual spots on the photo. The entire time I was talking and since I went to the hand tool, I did not let go of the letter H with my non-mousing hand. Now I'm safely gonna let go. I'll hit my favorite zoom to fit in window, Command-0 on the Mac or Control-0 on Windows, which is Zero it out. That's what I say in my head. Command Zero works in most of the Adobe programs to see your whole image or your whole page. Now here's a few more for the power users. I said M for marquee, and I hit M again to go to the rectangular marquee. If I right-click, underneath is the elliptical marquee tool. But since I don't want to travel all the way over to my tools panel or toolbar, I will click and drag to make a rectangular marquee, Oops, I need an ellipse. Shift M will go to the elliptical marquee. Click and drag to make it ellipse. Shift M again, back to rectangular. Shift M, elliptical. And that works for every tool that has nested tools underneath. Command D or Control D will deselect, or you could choose Select Deselect. But I always remember O to open up the eyes. O is the dodge tool, a photography term. So I'm going to zoom into the eyes with Command Spacebar, Control Spacebar, and hit O to open up the eye. With the dodge tool, I will paint the eye whites a little lighter. Shift O goes to the burn tool. I can burn the pupils a little darker or burn the eyelashes to add some contrast. Shift O again goes to sponge or desaturate. If I don't want this yellow in the eyes, I can desaturate or suck out all the yellow with the sponge tool to get rid of the yellow cast that it's picked up from the light. So Shift O, dodge, Shift O, burn, Shift O, sponge. So Shift and the letter of the tool navigates or switches to the nested tool underneath. The last couple things I want to show you are only for accelerated video card havers, if that's the correct term. And to double check if you have an accelerated video card or extra VRAM, on the Mac, go to Photoshop Preferences Performance. On Windows, go to Edit Preferences Performance. And in Performance, 
you will see the graphics card option. I think I missed it. Photoshop preferences, performance, there we go. Or on Windows, edit preferences performance. And if you mouse over anything here, Photoshop gives you a little explanation. So I have a graphics processor and it tells me that this activates certain features and interface enhancements. So some of those are rotate view, bird's eye zooming, pixel grid, flick panning, scrubby zoom, HUD color picker or heads up display color picker, rich cursor info, and more. So I'm going to show the last, which is rotate view tool. If I fit in window with command zero, added a few versions ago was the rotate view tool. And I want to put some text along the side of this pair. But to type it and then rotate it would be really tricky. So I'm going to rotate the view, then type it, and I can better line it up. This doesn't physically rotate the image. It will still print portrait, or the little pair will still be up when you print. But it does let me position it better. I'm not going to show doing it on a curvy path right now, but Photoshop does allow you to put type on a path so your text could flow along the shape of the pair. I'm simply going to hit the letter T for the type tool and click once and I should have a flashing cursor and I'll type laissez le bon temps rouler which is let the good times roll. And pray I spelled it right. Now the image has a rotated view but the text wasn't physically rotated. So at this point I'm going to hit Command T, which is the character panel, if you're in type. I can't hit the letter V for move right now because it would type the letter V. So I'm just going to switch to the move tool. Now, if I hit Command T or Control T, I can rotate this text. And if I hold down Shift and grab a corner, I can scale it up and keep it proportional. I'll double click on the middle or press return or enter to accept it and get the character panel out of my way. And now that I've added the text sideways, I can actually click back on the rotate view tool or hit the letter R to jump there and click reset view. And there you'll see the text sideways. We could make it fancy, but I'm going to stop there. So the goal with this video was to see all the single letters that you can hit to navigate to different tools to see the shift trick where I do M for marquee, shift M for elliptical, shift M for rectangular, or shift and the letter of the tool to dig to the nested tools. Also to cover a lot of my favorite zoom shortcuts, control spacebar to get to the magnifying glass or command spacebar on the Mac, and many other tips that hopefully you can review by rewinding or watching the video again. Good luck for my keyboard shortcut power users out there and I will be throwing in more, faster ways to work in every one of my lessons.